So uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about installing um, Vanilla Enhancement mod for Rome Total War, as well as Rome Total War mods in general. Uh, so I thought I would make a quick video, just a general guide to installing um, Rome Total War mods. And I'm going to use um, the Vanilla Enhancement mod as an example, and then I will also uh, explain the differences between how to install this mod and a few other kinds of mods as well. So um, in any case, you can see in the I'm on the mod DB page where you can download the files for Vanilla Enhancement, and you can see that um, Vanilla Enhancement has several versions uh, because it's still in active development, and there are many different uh, versions right now. So the latest one is version 18, and this is the latest full version you can see on mod DB. Um, over here it says full version there and then it says patch for the files that are not full versions. So we're going to go to the uh, latest full version, version 18, and uh, we're going to download this one. And uh, I'll be back in a moment uh, to show you what to do in the file explorer. And the other thing, um, you'll see that the folder is called the HRTW uh, for vanilla enhancement. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to make you sit through this whole download process, so I will fast forward and uh, I'll see you in the File Explorer. Okay, so now I'm in uh, File Explorer, and you can see I have a whole separate folder uh, that I've set up for all my downloaded Rome Total War mods, and for other Total War games as well to keep everything organized. And uh, you can see that um, HR Total War, HRTW, the Vanilla Enhancement mod, is right here. And it's actually a .rar file, so this is a compressed kind of file. There are three different kinds of uh, compressed files that you can download uh, from ModDB. A mod can be in a regular .zip folder. So for example, this Roma Serectum patch is in a, a zipped folder, a .zip, and this can be uh, simply extracted using the Windows 10 built-in file explorer. So you have to extract the folder from within it and then copy paste that folder uh, into your Rome Total War uh, Steam installation. Um, but in any case, uh, this is a .rar file. So I, you have to use a program like either WinRAR, 7-zip, or the program I'm using, which is 8-zip Pro. So in a moment, I'll show you uh, what this file looks like after you double click on it and open it with, um, in my case, 8-zip Pro. Okay, so now we are in 8-zip uh, Pro, but it, you can, again, you can use 7-zip or the built-in uh, Windows 10 uh, extractor, uh, depending on the kind of compressed file we're talking about here. So again, this is a .rar file. So we have to extract it and extract all of it, and I'm just going to extract it um, into my mods folder here. So I have Total War Mods, put it into Rome, and then uh, I'm not going to let you sit through the whole extraction process because it takes a little while, but in any case, um, after extracting the folder, I'm going to show you how to copy paste it into your uh, Rome Total War Steam installation. Okay, so now we are in the File Explorer, and uh, you can see that uh, I'm in my Steam installation folder, so uh, this all depends on where your Steam installation folder is, depends on where you have installed Steam. Uh, so for me, I've installed it in my second uh, storage drive, storage drive D, just because it's a bigger storage drive than my primary uh, drive. And um, in any case, once you're in the, once you find your Steam installation, then you have to go to Steam Apps and then Common, and then uh, you you see all of your um, installed game folders. So uh, you can see that there are two Rome Total War folders. Uh, unlike Medieval 2, which just has one, and the other Total War games, Rome 2, Attila, and all that, um, there, there are two Rome Total War folders. One is for gold, 
which includes regular Rome Total War and the Barbarian Invasion Expansion, and you have Rome Total War Alexander. And uh, where you have to install your mod depends on uh, which expansion the mod supports. So there are some mods that work with regular Rome Total War 1.5, so you would install that with in uh, gold. Uh, there are some mods that work with uh, Barbarian Invasion. In fact, I would say most mods right now are Barbarian Invasion mods, and those work with gold. Um, and then a lot of the new mods that are in development are for Alexander, and that goes for Vanilla Enhancement as well. So always pay attention to which exe file um, your uh, mod of choice uh, works with. So we're going to go into Alexander, and you'll see I already have um, HRTW copy pasted here, so you would just have to copy paste that folder um, here. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Once you have version 18 installed here, you can, um, all you have to do is go into Steam, and I will show you how to do that in just a bit. And you just have to put in uh, HRTW in the Steam launch options, which again, I will show you in a second. And then uh, that's it, you can play. Uh, but uh, this mod requires has a hotfix and a patch. It doesn't require them, it will still run, but you definitely want the hotfix and the patch installed as well. So I'll quickly show you um, how to do that. Okay, so now um, I'm in the version 18 hotfix place, so you can see that um, after version 18 there are two additional files here and uh, there, the first one you have to apply is the hotfix, and the second one is the patch. So first we're going to download uh, the hotfix. We will download both the hotfix and the patch, and then I will show you uh, how to apply them in the file explorer in uh, just a second. So we're going to download both of these, uh, again, to the folder of your choice, and then I'll show you how to copy-paste them uh, correctly. Okay, so I've got uh, both uh, patch files, the hotfix and the patch, in my separate patches folder here. And again, uh, they're in zip files, so you have to um, use one of the uh, extractor programs of your choice to extract the files. The first one is the hotfix, and you can tell which one is the hotfix because the hotfix file has a point one, but it also has, um, uh, it's also much smaller than the patch. So that's the other way you can tell which one is a hotfix and which one is the patch. And again, like last time, you have to um, extract both files or both folders uh, to wherever you want, the hotfix first. So first I'm going to extract the hotfix, hot and then um, I'll extract them both to this folder, and I'll show you how to copy-paste them into the uh, Steam folder in the correct way so that you can apply both patches. Okay, so now, um, as you can see, I've extracted both the hotfix and the patch. So now in both of these folders, the, again, the point one is the hotfix and the regular one is um, the patch. So in the point one and in the hotfix and in the um, patch folder, uh, there are folders named HRTW. So what you're going to do is uh, copy and uh, paste them into your Steam folder, into your uh, Steam installation of uh, Rome Total War Alexander, and um, you're going to overwrite the file. So you again, the hotfix you copy and paste first, you over make sure to overwrite all the files, and then you have applied the hotfix. And then for the patch, you do the same thing. You copy and paste HRTW into the Rome Total War Gold folder, and um, then you make sure to overwrite uh, all the files necessary, and then you will have applied both patches. So now we're, we'll go to Steam, and I'll show you exactly what you have to do in Steam to get it to launch the mod. Okay, so I've um, copied the patch file, and I'm going to uh, just paste it here in uh, Realm Total War the Rome Total War Alexander folder after finding it again under Steam, Steam Apps Common, and then Rome Total War Alexander. So I'm going to paste it now. And then it's going to say, um, 
would you like to overwrite the files or would you like to replace the files in the destination? And I'm just going to say yes. And uh, then that's it. The patch will be applied. Okay, so now we are in Steam and we're looking at Rome Total War Alexander. Uh, so what we're going to do is right click on Rome Total War Alexander. And then uh, what we have to do is click on properties. And then uh, once we're in properties, we have to click on uh, launch options in the middle there. And then uh, this is exactly what you have to type in so that you can play Vanilla Enhancement. Um, but of course for other mods like uh, Barbarian Empires, Hellenistic Twilight, you will have to put NL underscore 2. Uh, for Chivalry, you'll have to type in Chivalry if you're playing it with the Alexander patch. And for uh, another mod like um, Ruina Rome, which is for a barbarian invasion, you'll have to type in uh, something else, which looks like this. So always um, be sure to type in the correct thing. Make sure you're taking into account is it an Alexander mod or a barbarian invasion mod, and uh, everything should be fine. Uh, so that's pretty much a general guide of how to install uh, Rome Total War mods using vanilla enhancement as uh, a general example. So um, if you have any questions, uh, this is my first install video, so I'm not sure how I did. But if, uh, if you have any comments or concerns or questions, please let me know in the comments below, and um, I'll try to answer your questions as best I can. Thanks for watching. See you next time.